How's it going guys? Cody back again dropping yet another video. Right guys, this time it's prison news again. This is out of the Independent. Headline reads, Prisoner found hanged after two days in jail. A told staff he heard voices urging him to kill himself. Uh, this is a story about Michael Berry, age 24, who tragically took his own life uh, just less than two days into his jail sentence. Uh, God bless him, may rest in peace. Thoughts and prayers are still with his family. Uh, Michael Berry should have undergone an urgent mental health assessment, says the Ombudsman. A prisoner who took his own life after less than two days in jail should have undergone an urgent mental health assessment before he died, an Ombudsman has said. Michael Berry, 24, was found hanged at HMP Bedford after telling staff he heard voices urging him to kill himself. The Prison and Probation Ombudsman, which investigated his death, found that the information sent from court about his mental health was not processed effectively. It said, in addition, Mr. Berry's assertion that he was hearing voices telling him to kill himself should have prompted an urgent mental health assessment and a referral to a GP to consider prescribing antipsychotic medication as a matter of urgency. The Ombudsman said there remained significant issues with the jail's mental health services, which inspectors said last month was inadequate in terms of its resources and coverage. Mr. Berry was remanded on uh, the 8th of March last year after being charged with 22 offences, including violence, kidnap and sexual assault of a man. He had a history of drug and alcohol abuse and uh, twice admitted to a mental health hospital following earlier suicide attempts. A court nurse had asked uh, Bedford's prison mental health team to assess the risk of Mr. Berry harming himself, but the jail had no record of receiving this email, the Ombudsman said. A prison reception officer assessed Mr. Berry without access to documents about his mental health and offending history. He was deemed to be high risk and seemed fragile and was in withdrawal from heroin and crack cocaine, prompting staff to increase suicide and self-harm observations five to five an hour. The following day, prison staff held a, um, a case review, but healthcare workers were not inv invited. Despite Mr. Berry saying he heard voices telling him to kill himself, the Ombudsman said, that this was disappointing and said Mr. Berry did not receive the level of care he would have got in the community. Mr. Berry was found hanged on the 10th of March. He was taken to hospital where he died six days later. He was the eighth prisoner to take his own life at Bedford since 2013. In six of the resulting investigation, the Ombudsman found staff operated suicide and self-prevention procedures ineffectively and recommendations were made to improve the assessment, care and custody and teamwork which is the ACT process. Four of the investigations identified failings in the mental health support offered to prisoners. The Ombudsman said Mr. Berry, death show warnings had not been properly heeded. Acting Ombudsman Elizabeth Moody said, Mental health care has been an issue in some of our recent investigations at Bedford. It is very disappointing to find that significant issues remain in the delivery of this service. A prison service spokeswoman said, This is a tragic case and our thoughts remain with Mr. Berry's friends and family. We accepted all the recommendations from the Prison and Probation Ombudsman and the prison has since made a number of improvements to the work it does to prevent suicide and self-harm. We are rolling out a key worker scheme ensuring that each prisoner has a dedicated support from a prison officer and have funded the Samaritans Helpline for a further three years. There has been no deaths at HMP Bedford in 2018. Well, whoopie do. Uh, last month, the prison watchdog had issued an official warning to the government about the jail, which it said was on a path of seemingly inoxorable, inoxorable, I can't pronounce that word, decline. The Independent Monitoring Board described the prison as a dungeon with infestations of rat, cockroaches, disgusting amounts of litter and rising levels of violence. Now, I don't read these stories, guys, before I put the, um, before I say what I say, I just read them. The first time you hear them is the first time I hear them. Um, yeah. Man down, man down. Fucking, I just broke my chair, man. 